Oh, hey, it's you. You look great. Is that a new gas mask? Hello, so I've come to you today to talk about the Nintendo 2DS, and you're thinking, what? No, surely the 3DS. No, the 2DS. Nintendo has recently announced a new member of the 3DS family, which is a Nintendo 2DS. Basically, it's a DS that plays 3DS games in 2D. A lot of people are saying that this is a stupid idea. I mean, the 3DS has a turn off the 3D option. Yes, but I'm going to point out to you why the 2DS is actually a very good idea. Here, I have my Nintendo DS Lite. Why? Because, well, it's what I could afford. I cannot afford a Nintendo 3DS, let alone a Nintendo 3DS XL. Do you see where I'm going with this? The Nintendo 2DS costs £100, which is still a fair amount of money, but not as much as a 3DS, £130, or a 3DS XL, £160. And let's say I wanted to play the new Pokemon X and Y game, which I do. I'd have to buy a Nintendo 3DS for £130, then on top of that, another £40 for the game. Game. Well, if I bought a Nintendo 2DS, I'd be paying around the same price as the 3DS for a device and the game. Another thing about the 2DS is it's clearly child-friendly. A lot of parents are worried about the 3DS and they don't want to give them to their kids because of the 3D thing and how it could hurt the eyes or the mind or the brain or whatever of a young child. I can see their concern, it's new technology, and apparently it does give headaches and it's not recommended for younger children. So if these younger children want to play these 3DS games, they can't because their parents wouldn't let them have the 3DS. Also, I've seen people criticising the design of the 2DS. It's basically a slab with two screens on it and some buttons, which I thought at first, ooh, that looks a bit weird, but now it's occurred to me that it's actually a very good idea. You see, here I have my DS and it opens like this, but I'm going to show you that this is not my original DS. This is my original DS. You see? When I was younger, what I did was this. You can't do that with the 2DS. Why? Because it's one slab. It is strong. It will not break as easily as a clamshell device. Though speaking of clamshells that break easily, this thing certainly does not. This is my Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. And I once dropped this out of a first floor window and it survived. So here's the thing about the 2DS. Really, it's a kid's console. But you're thinking, but since that shape is designed for kids and stuff, that's great and all, but it's not a portable device anymore. Sure, I'll give you that. It's not as portable as a regular Game Boy or Nintendo DS. But what it is, is a very good solution, a very cheap solution, as a games console for a family with a lower income. I think the 2DS is an excellent idea. I'm even at the point of considering buying one. Though, if I could, I'd buy the 3DS, probably. Okay, tell me what you think of the 2DS. Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. I think it's good for younger children that will not break their DS's like I did. So yeah. So tell me in the comments what you think or make a video response. But do that really quickly because they're about to get rid of those. No, you can't get rid of video responses. That really sucks. Video responses rock, God's sake. Anyway, recently I've been making some quick webcam videos and they're just covers of songs that I've just thought, yeah, I'll cover that and I'll record it and put it on YouTube. And so I've done those. I did a cover of Baby Got Back by Jonathan Colton yesterday and the day before I did a cover of I'll Be There For You by the Rembrandts, which is the theme from Friends. So check those out. You can also check out my other videos on my channel. You can subscribe if you want and do all the things that people would normally tell you to do at the end of a video. <sighs> okay, bye-bye. This week's recommendation is a new channel started by a girl called Kate called Talk of Many Things. As of the recording of this video, she has uploaded two videos which are both really good. She only has six subscribers at the moment, so go over to her channel and subscribe to her because she's awesome.